Uh, thank you. Um, so we're going to just give you a quick overview. We're going to spend uh, a little bit of time just bringing in the, the concept around why we chose cloud rather than a server-based system. Some things, uh, if you've been looking into this for a while, some of these things may be things you already are obviously aware of or have looked into as well, but we want to make sure we're talking about what we feel are the kind of core benefits of this type of technology. And then we're going to move into what I would call a, a sort of a highlighted live demo of Astro Dental, uh, allowing you to see the program um, in, its, in its real form. And um, please, as we're going through any part of this, at any time uh, down in either the Q&A or the, or the chat, put in any questions that might come up. And we're gonna definitely carve off time at the end to answer those questions. Doesn't matter how many, we're gonna get to them all. And um, if at any time, geez, you just wanna cut to the chase, you wanna get the specific questions answered, let us know and we will definitely reach out and spend some time with you on that. Um, this is really, you know, obviously based on trying to give an overview of, uh, of things as we move through. And as we move through, I'd like to introduce our one of our webinar hosts today. We have the pleasure of being joined by Ken Kingsbury. Ken has been a practice management software consultant since 1985. That's over 30 years of expertise in the domain. <laughs> um, Ken has worked very closely with Mac-based systems and with a lot of practices in transitioning their software in seeing what's new and out there and keeping practices on the evolution of the latest technologies. So a lot of good experience and stories to share for today's webinar. And I promise I won't, I won't get too carried away because I can't, I can't be a storyteller. <laughs> I also want to uh, introduce my co-host, Tiffany Wynn, who, um, I have, I have learned so much from Tiffany. Her background in technology, specifically in technology around dental offices is uh, unparalleled. She is one of the co-founders of Aspro Dental. Um, I'm very thrilled to have her along with me tonight to uh, show you parts of the program that she's helped uh, develop and uh, I'm really very excited. So we're gonna move kind of quickly now through some of the, the main screens. Um, the next one, I, I liked it. I put this in uh, <laughs> because I literally did start in 1985 on that computer on the left. Um, obviously, amazing changes in technology over these last 35 years. Um, I'm not gonna get into all the details of what that Mac Plus was like carrying around and demoing, but uh, I've been excited, I've been, Mostly in that period of time, uh, just in all fairness to upfrontness, I want to, you know, I've been working in the world of server based technology. And it's really been within the last three, four years that I've begun to realize um, the brilliance and opportunity of moving into the cloud. And so uh, that's what brings me uh, as an independent consultant to work here with uh, Aspro Dental. And, you know, this slide again. Um, may be fairly obvious to a lot of people, but I think sometimes the obsequious nature of, of cloud means that we, we forget just how many different places that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis are in the cloud. Obviously, a lot of us do banking that way. Um, we work with uh, businesses. We, have, um, we, we see governments and corporations a whole slew of areas that have moved in this direction and over the last 10 years. Uh, my music, this presentation right now on Zoom, it's all cloud-based. Uh, it just makes sense. And what comes along oftentimes with technology that is based in the cloud are some of the things that we now are laboriously handling <laughs> in our offices when we're dealing with things like server-based technology. First thing that happens is that we're, our, our backups are handled uh, seamlessly in the background. Not only are the backups happening every couple of hours, 
they are going redundantly to multiple locations so that there is uh, almost virtually no possibility that you're ever going to be down. Because even if the Wi-Fi goes down, you have access to this information through your data plan. So it's it's amazing how safe and sound. I will make a very bold statement and say to you, and this comes with 35 years of doing this, that your data is indeed safer on the cloud than it is in your office. And we can dive into that in more detail if you'd like, but I'm, I'll just make that broad brush stroke uh, statement. And uh, the last thing I'll say just really quickly is that you get to hire some of the most amazingly talented professionals that are working behind the scenes, people you will never meet, but that are keeping your data safe, people that are meeting with uh, the FBI, the CIA, they're dealing with all kinds of different cyber um, theft and other things that can happen that you'll never have to deal with because they're doing it for you. Things that we can't hire an IT person locally to handle for us. So redundant backups, great IT, automatic updates to your software, so many advantages. And as we move into this, again, I could, I don't want to right now because I could, I could just go off in so many stories, but having been around as long as I have, I can tell you so many nightmares around backups, around servers crashing, uh, IT people that maybe are not quite as, as good as they claim. So think about the headaches that go away when you're not dealing with that day-to-day -day backup issue, not wondering if your backups are actually working or dealing with having to shut the office down to, to do an update to your dental software, or worrying about what operating system you're on in your computer, which is not just relevant to your, your program that you're using, but relevant to every other third-party program that you're forced to use because your legacy product may not handle that in a, in a great way. And of course, all of these, these uh, advantages to going to a cloud come together in the most remarkable way that now you're not beholden to any one platform. All devices that can access a browser, talking about a phone, we're talking about a tablet, we're talking about an iPad, we're talking about um, PCs, we're talking about Macs, it doesn't matter. Any mix and match of that combination, um, which is so amazing because um, there are, I mean, I'm still an evangelist for Apple. I love it. I would recommend it to anybody who asks me. And that might be, you know, the iMac that you put up front as your patients come in. But you may like the idea of an inexpensive touchscreen PC laptop in the back where you're capturing your x-ray. There's great ways that this begins to show up and uh, open the doors for you. And uh, last I'll say is that when you're working on all devices and you are working in the cloud, you're opening the door for your team to have the advantage of being anywhere. And, you know, as a doctor, of course, you need to be in the office. You can't do this as, as a virtual, uh, other than maybe dealing with an emergency situation that you need to speak to somebody. But in terms of your team and your staff, they can have access without a lot of elaborate additional things that you would need to install to be able to do work from home, possibly move away, but still be able to have uh, to have a role in your office, possibly have to take a leave of absence, et cetera. There are so many advantages. And another piece that opens up that oftentimes can be a giant pain is that multiple location that that last slide was talking about. When you have a legacy server-based solution, add another office can be really expensive, require all kinds of expensive equipment, probably force you to have to have multiple databases, run multiple reports to get a collective of what you're doing in each of these offices. Automatically with a cloud system, you can add as many locations as you want. You have the benefit of no slowdown and all the, those advantages and being able to run reports now, either as from individual locations as well as collective, just tons of, of great advantages there. Now, one of the things that I began to realize in this idea of paperless, chartless, all kinds of different names that people wanna uh, put on this, 
is that most of your legacy products were not developed to be paperless. They were developed to be billing systems, scheduling systems. And over time, as that became something, as charting got going and, and health histories got going and all the rest of this, these were things that were tacked on top of these old programs, not necessarily in a great way, not necessarily in a way that flows and makes sense, and oftentimes in a way that's so difficult that offices are almost forced to go outside and use other people's uh, uh, solutions to get these things handled. Astro Dental was developed from the ground up to be a paperless solution. All the aspects of the program are designed to make that flow make sense, which is why almost everybody who looks at the Aspro Dental, the first thing that they say is, wow, this must, you guys really understand the dental office. You've developed this in a way that makes sense. How many people are frustrated with how other programs are written because they're written by developers that don't really understand your, your particular environment in the dental office? The increase of value, I like to say this in multiple ways. There is a, a way that the value of your practice is increased simply by the fact that you're giving your team members a much easier way to deal with a task that sometimes can be very, very tedious, very long and laborious to get handled, especially an office that's still having to send out PDFs get back information, go over that information because you can't do it beforehand and the patient's right there and have to scan that information, attach it, or you're working with a third party where they may not update your, your practice management system for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, not until the next day. I've heard lots of stories. So the value comes in, in the way that your team now interacts with the technology. And of course, when you are on a modern system, you are attracting associates, you're attracting people from the outside that see that value and want to be involved with that. And this is a, such a, a great hidden benefit of a good cloud-based system is that it's going to bring you, as you'll see in this next slide, it's going to bring you into what I would consider to be a modern workflow practice. So a program written from the ground up to not just do the practice management pieces of billing and scheduling, but something developed to help you with um, health histories, consent forms, you know, uh, uh, confirming appointments, two-way texting, two, you know, emails, all that kind of stuff. And you'll see that demonstrated in real time in a moment. And those modern day workflows are also relevant because there is nobody out there developing new technology for server-based systems unless they're stuck there and have no choice. All the new great things that are coming out today and in the future are relevant to cloud. That's where the, everybody is developing. That's the kind of things they're, they're moving away from separate programs and getting into what they call apps. So apps just don't show up on your phone. They show up on your computer and they help the flow of a good system like Aspro Dental. And you're going to see some of how that that makes sense in, in a moment there. So what we're going to do as we, before we get back and talk about this last slide is we're going to actually go into the Astro Dental program. And as I'm speaking to you, Tiffany is going to, going to jump over and we're going to bring you live into the program. And Tiffany will start, walk you through what you're seeing and we'll sort of trade off back and forth. Please continue to bring in any questions that may be cropping up for you that you'd like answered. And um, take it away, Tiffany. All right, this is our scheduler for today. And everything that we're going to be showing you is fully live. We're doing it in real time. Um, speeds of you know, the appointments and all of that you'll see um, right here in this part of the demo. So today's schedule, we can also see multiple days in a row. So not only can we see just day, we can see, let's say if I choose three days, Tuesday through Thursday, I can see my appointments for that series of days and have a better idea of where the open slots may be so that we can schedule patients in the openings. But and I just wanna emphasize before she leaves this screen that this is not a typical, you know, 
feature of a lot of programs out there. There's a, a few, one in particular that I know that I, I've, that I like that particular feature, but this, this is showing up in Astro Dental brilliantly because now you can not only look at that day and not have to just dock the appointment and go off and find another day, you actually can see multiple days, a week, a whole month. Uh, this is how a schedule, the flexibility of a schedule should be. So easy there as you see how she's pointing and clicking. Now easily go back to the day that you're on. Uh, <laughs> great feature. <laughs> Thanks for showing that. Thanks, Ken. So in addition to your classic scheduler, we also have patient communication up here in the corner. So let's say you're on and the patient texts you. You see that red number that pops up just like on your phone. Um, a new message has come in. And Ken, do you have your ringer on by any chance? Uh, I don't. Let me, uh, let me turn it on. That was okay. me that just sent that text. And believe yeah. me, we're she's in Southern California. I'm in Northern California. So this is all real time. So uh, I see a message just came in 546. That's right now might be five minutes late. And then I can respond back saying drive safe. See you soon and send that. Yeah. I don't it's know if you could hear that, but yeah, I get right. that immediately. So, so not only is this real time communication, but that log that you're looking at there is permanent. This doesn't disappear at the end of the day or in an hour. So any time that you need to look back on your communications, because there might have been some confusion, but that does happen sometimes what people say. You know, I could say, oh, I told you I was going to be 45 minutes late. And you can say, oh, well, right here you said five. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a this is how I this is just a piece of, of what I call paperless, it's not just the charting. It's all the little pieces of things that you have to deal with in your office on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, now, what she's done here is she's clicked on my appointment. Yep. And not only are you seeing uh, pertinent information on the appointment, but when you look to the right there, without having to leave the schedule, without having to leave any of the information that you're seeing on the left, I want Tiffany to kind of walk through this a little bit, but look at all of what you're able to see at a glance. We have the patient's allergies, conditions, any notes, for example, TLC, if the patient has a fear of needles, if the patient tends to run late, um, the note follows them around through their appointments every time you click on it. Um, you can access the chart very quickly from here. Here are the tags. We, these are some example ones that you can note on your appointment. So you can quickly see right here, on Ken's appointment pre-med and that we checked his insurance already. Um, you can change the appointment, whether it's canceled, missed or rescheduled. Down here nice. we have the contact information. And if we want to send Ken an additional text reminder or email um, below, we can confirm his appointment. We can move it to pending if he is not able to make it today. Any appointment notes, you can quickly access right here and the procedures for today. So at the bottom, we have the check-in button. Ken is here. So let's walk through our demo today as though Ken is a patient who has an appointment. We're going to check him in, do all of his consents, show you how that works, and then move on to the clinical aspect and then complete his appointment and go on to the ledger. Yeah, and I just, you know, again, I maybe pointing out the obvious, but to me, being able to see all the information that Tiffany just pointed out in one screen without having to leave the window of the scheduler is a, is a brilliant piece of technology, in my opinion. So helpful in an office that's busy. Once we check Ken in, here is his profile where everything is also in the same scrollable screen and you can see a lot of information on the profile. So we'll, um, Ken, if you'd like to go through and share where everything is. Yeah, I just, you know, again, I, you know, one of the things that I've noticed with every program I've worked with is how many screens I have to go through in order to get a function handle. And so again, in this profile screen, um, first of all, I just wanna point out that I can move easily from profile to insurance, to ledger, to health history, to document. So she, she's just giving you the arrows there to point that out. I also see again, kind of redundant information that I wanna see everywhere I'm at. You know, the latex, the high blood pressure. 
So those are important. I can see a communication log up there that shows me every communication date and time span. So important. And now I have, again, I have access to the chart from here. Um, I can see any, the notes again with that TLC information. Of course, I have access to my capture machine. I can send patient information out if, if it needs to be updated by a patient prior to coming in. The consents we're gonna get into in just a moment, one of the most brilliant things that these guys have done. Looking at the address, the treatment information, all that inherent in one screen. Sorry, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but so important. And as she scrolls down, you're gonna be able to see appointment information. You're gonna be able to see um, the, the history of everything that's done there. Go ahead and scroll there. And uh, uh, you know, up and coming previous family members, their appointments, everything in that one screen. So it's, it's um, this is, I think this is really well thought out and uh, easy to, to look at, easy to access. So we're gonna take into the consents here. And what's gonna happen is that when she does send those consents, they are going to show up on my phone. You see it right here as an email. I'm going to sign them. And when I hit, when I hit the complete, you're gonna see those show up in the documents immediately. That's, uh, there is no lag time here, so. I also wanted to point out the additional information. These are questions that you can customize for your practice. Oh yeah, right. Have reports right. on them. So if you have a question polling for your patients what their dental goals are, you can run a report to see, okay, who's interested in whitening or who's interested in et cetera, et cetera, procedures, and then run your marketing off of that or reach out to those patients if there are any specials or even just when they come in, um, revisit certain areas if you know that those are things that they pay attention to and would like to do dentally. Yeah, so full disclosure, I'm not going to close my gap. I've had it for 65 years, but uh, um, I've had a lot of a lot of clients over the years try to convince me <laughs> to close it. So I've used my smile in quite a few uh, demos, but uh, full disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a trend now i know i know so i like to, i like having a gap consents are right here in the middle of the page very easy to access from the patient's profile i'll click on it and here is my page where i can choose which consents we're going to create for our patient um i can search for them so if i type in for fillings f i it starts to filter down and here we are um, the consent forms can be uploaded with your own office consent forms that you use. We also have standard forms that come with the program. Um, you can edit them or delete them, all up to you. I can add multiple consent forms. So let's say fillings, but maybe also a HIPAA form. And then in the middle of the page, I can see the forms that I've selected, fillings and HIPAA. Um, I can go down and edit edit the consent text, I can yeah, also great. put in a tooth number. So let's say number 28, for example, and then any note, um, root canal may still be needed in the future. Anything along those lines, um, sending to the patient's email will allow them to receive it in their inbox with a quick link to go and sign the form through an encrypted secure link. This is great if you have patients where you would like to get their consent forms or their medical histories in before they come in, um, especially new patients or returning patients who you want to cut down the appointment time and eliminate that process of printing anything out in office. There's also a sign now option that allows the patient to sign in the practice. So let's say you're doing a same day treatment or let's say a patient just did forgot to do their forms online, they can sign it in the practice. And lastly, if for any reason you do want a printed version for a patient to sign, um, you can print it as a PDF. But for the- yeah, I just wanna, I wanna point out one thing that, you know, I, cause I've been around so long, some of my clients have been around a bit too. And there's some that are open to the idea of, of consent forms and charting, but still want to have their paper charts. So this does allow you to then have that information easily in both places. So, you know, 
having that save as a PDF can mm -hmm. be a real handy aspect of it. For here, let's. I'm going to send it to Ken's email so you can see how quickly the consent forms go out. So here, send to email. It'll probably take a few seconds for Ken to refresh his inbox, and yep. it will. Oh, you got it. I just, yep, we got it already. Nice. So I'm just clicking on a link. I'm opening it up in my on my iPhone, and I just chose Chrome. It could be any uh, browser. I'm seeing the full consent going down through the fillings. Um, and I find a place that I can sign. Mm -hmm. Going down through the HIPAA, I see the place I can sign, I hit confirm. And literally that is now sent immediately back uh, to Aspla Dental and will show up uh, on the document. So here is Ken's documents tab as his, on his page. Before you even click on it, you can see that there they are right there. They mm -hmm. already showed up in the communication log. Here are the ones, it's a log of the forms that were sent. So we can see that they were sent out and then in the document section down below, we have the consent forms and I can click on them to view the PDF, all of the text, the tooth number and the note I added and my beautiful signature from my patient. Yeah, that's how I sign. <laughs> <laughs> So it's wonderful how quickly that happens. Imagine all of the time spent on uploading, scanning, printing consent forms or retyping information. All of that now can be eliminated. That can be anywhere from half an hour to two hours of backlog busy work at the end of your front office's day. So let's, yeah, now that we have his consent, let's get to Ken's chart. And we are going to show you one of the most special things about the Asper Dental program. The layout of the chart is very, very different from any program out there. And the difference is that you get everything clinical on one page, like a clinical dashboard where you can see the patient's periodontal history, their odontogram, the tooth chart with all of the um, visual diagnoses, your treatment plan down here, your clinical history on the right side with past notes, and also your upcoming appointments. So you can keep track of what the patient is scheduled for and will be scheduled for right from the clinical page so that as a doctor, as a hygienist or dental assistant, you don't have to flip back to the schedule or anywhere else to see what the patient has coming up. Yep, nice. So what are you gonna do to me today? <laughs> <laughs> let's do let's do a filling. So yep. diagnosing is also very easy. Um, we've made it so that there's minimal training that needs to be done, whether you have a new dental assistant who doesn't know your office system or one who just doesn't know the dental codes. If I you sign the consent for number 28, right? Let's diagnose number 28. So I'm clicking on the tooth and here I'm just going to click on my surfaces. It's a restorative procedure and I'm presented with all of my material options. Let's do a composite and this gets added and I can save and see that my procedure is added here. I can move it to a different priority by dragging and dropping it. So I can move that around to different priorities and you'll see um, it's a very, intuitive process. You can move multiple procedures at once. And let's, for this scenario, let's say Ken's coming in and we can see his upcoming appointment here. Today, he's scheduled for an exam and a cleaning. He's coming back for fluoride in November. But for today, let, we just diagnosed number 28. And if we have some extra time today, and we wanted to go ahead and schedule number 28 and do it in today's visit, I can just Rather than go back to the schedule to add it, rather than going up to my front desk to ask her, him or her to add it, I can just pull this procedure from the treatment plan into today's appointment and it will update in. This procedure gets added, so now it's added on the scheduler as well. So my front office team, when they look at a scheduler, they'll see that number 28 is in the appointment. And there's that eliminates any potential missteps or miscommunications between back and front when the clinical team has a lot of control over procedures. 
Nice. Once this is done, we're going to complete the appointment. So I'll check mark today's appointment. I did exam cleaning, filling, and then on you the- You can also uncheck any of those that may have not been done in case there was, you know, no, you ran out of time, something like that, yep, reschedule it. So there's total flexibility on that. So we'll complete the progress note here and then see that there is Here's a progress note, the layout subject line on top, provider assistant, your date, and the procedures that were in today's appointment. Here is the progress note itself. This note that came in is a template note that's tied to the procedure code. So if you do the same note for every filling, for example, it comes in so that you don't have to manually type it out. Um, I can still edit the note. I can put in, for example, um, name um, noted on anteriors, coffee, and tea. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> and these notes are very easily editable. Um, it's just a text box. Once we're done, we can click save. The notes themselves, if it's a pretty standard procedure, no, nothing too out of the ordinary happens. I've had, I've heard from providers that it can take less than 30 seconds, anywhere from just review it real quick, add in your anesthetic that you used. If it's not already in the template, maybe add in their blood pressure and it could be done in 10 seconds. Yeah, I, I, I just want to emphasize that Almost every system that I've worked with, you're talking so much training to get people up because of just the fact that it doesn't necessarily flow the way an office flows. This really is incredibly simple to learn, which means that you know you do have the ability to bring in a new staff person and have them up really fast in that process. So it's very nice. Oh. We should show our viewers the there's another feature that Oscar Dental has that we're the only ones who can look through your clinical history in the amount of um, detail and accuracy for the search than any other program out there. So let's say there is a clinical note that we would like to look for. You don't remember exactly the tooth number or the date, but you do remember something that you wrote regarding that note. So remember when I wrote that he had a coffee or a tea stain, I can write in the search box coffee and that note gets filtered down to the one that has the word in it. That is that is so, yeah. I, I don't know anybody that's even come close to that. And so, and it's not just because it was done today. She could search backwards months, years, and find any criteria so that, I mean, just think about flipping through the chart, to try to find some conversation or some note that you've made and now be able to get it just like that. So that I've actually seen doctors go from not wanting the chart to wanting the chart just by that one feature. <laughs> pretty, pretty amazing. If the patient had talked about a diastema in the past, you can type in just the first few letters even, and it will find that note. Yep, which, that's me. <laughs> so once the procedure has been completed, that you are done as the clinician. Once your note has been submitted, that will push the procedures to the ledger. And now the patient is sat up, they get walked up to the front and the front office will be working from the scheduler. So we'll go back there and follow the patient through his journey. So Ken has, you know, he signed his consent already. He had a treatment diagnosed. He got his treatment done today. The progress note was submitted really quickly. And then now Ken's being walked back up to the front office. So back at the front office, we have Ken and his appointment where you can see number 28 was added because we did that from the chart. Um, I can click on his appointment here and down at the bottom where I checked him in earlier, I'm going to now check him out. Yeah, very straightforward. Here we have the ledger with procedures that were completed today. And I would like to post a payment 
I can add the patient's payment, maybe Ken paid with a visa and there is his payment and you, we are done for the day. Yeah, I just wanna point out that that payment's floating up against the oldest balance, but there's also the link. So if you're in an office that likes to specifically link to uh, a data service or to a particular procedure, you have that flexibility, which is great, which is a, a great feature. So it gives you uh, either one of those scenarios. And you notice just the detail in each one of those procedures where it's giving you the patient pay, the discount, the adjustment, insurance, so much information that you don't have to hunt around. It's right there in front of you, including the information summarized at the top of the screen too, so. All right. That concludes our live demo portion of today's webinar. Let's go back to um, what we were about to close with today, some special information for our viewers that we are offering for our webinar attendees. And that includes anyone who's watching this as a recording too. So yeah. if you yeah. are not watching this live and you are watching the recording, you are also um, welcome to any of these specials that we're offering. Yeah, so I just, you know, I love to uh, speak with offices. I love to find out what's going on and how things are working. Uh, you know, there's gonna be some things that are working, some things that aren't, the system you're on, what your objectives are. So we can meet by Zoom or by phone um, and talk about this why it, why we, we potentially feel like the, a move into a, a program like Ask for Dental makes sense. Um, and obviously, you know, get into as much detail as you want. We can set up another time for an appointment. We've given you contact information there to go to corporate or directly to myself. Um, and of course, uh, we could talk about the paperless aspects, the forms, the texting, all that, get into more detail. So, um, we're excited about that. We see that there's already questions beginning to, to show up. So we want to make sure we set aside some time here at the end to answer those questions. They're really um, important. And then um, please, uh, as we're answering those, uh, jot down, you know, you can get me at ken.kingsbury at askdental.com. You can contact at askdental.com for the, for the uh, corporate numbers there, uh, cell number really easy to get a hold of it. So I'll let Stephanie go ahead and get into the question part. Yep, and this is Ken's personal line where you can reach him, so. Oh my God, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, we have some really good questions, but some just reactions too. So um, there was an attendee who commented that that's fast. Um, I, I don't know exactly when that was sent, but if that was in regard to the consent forms or the texting, um, we have heard this during demos with actual client offices too. And even when people are using our software live in their practices, we've heard how quick it is to get the information in from a patient via text or consent. So um, right. yeah, that's fun to see. Um, a question though. Oh, okay. One about pricing, which I'm sure is a um, an elephant in the room. Is everything that you are sharing um, included in one fee? And I there's are there a few questions similar? We pay different companies for um, text consents. Um, is it all in one? Okay, so a few questions around fees and what we show today. We're happy to say that what we show today, and that is the text communications where you can send messages back and forth. You can send pictures back and forth. The patients can text in a tooth. They can text in an insurance card, the automatic appointment reminders that we talked about, the electronic consent forms that you can email or sign in the practice. Those are all included with the software. It's part of our package, um, no additional cost. We see it as something that we would like you to use to run your practice um, with more efficiency and a little bit less busy work. Uh, so it is part of the system and no nickel and diming there. But what we didn't show today, um, the electronic claims, 
with attachments, the x-rays and intraoral pictures on the cloud, those were not demonstrated due to time, but they are also included in part of the software because x-rays and claims are two very key parts of running a practice. So it seems rather um, unkind to make a practice pay for those as a separate add-on when it's clearly something that you need in order to run your daily operations. So yes, all of this is part of the program. Um, let's see. The communication log, um, yes, we have two. We have the communication log for sending the forms out so you can see what has been sent to your patients. And we also have the log of the text messages. And like Ken said, those are saved through indefinitely. So you can refer back to them. Um, you can reference them if you ever need it for an audit, anything like that. Um, we've seen clients get a lot of use out of them. If patients are ever claiming that they never got offered some care because they canceled their own appointment, you can reference back to it and cover yourselves that way. Um, let me see here. Okay, if I am using a server-based program and now all my information is on the cloud, do I have my data? So yes, you do still own your own data. The only difference is rather than having a physical copy that you actually have to look after. Let's say you lose the thumb drive. Let's say someone spills coffee on the server. It's a physical thing that you have to take care of. And if anything goes wrong, then there's your database of your entire practice for the last however many years you've been in practice. Now, if, um, if your data is on the cloud, that's a different story because let's Think cloud banking or your emails on the cloud. When is the last time a credit card transaction went missing, just into thin air out of the blue, right? That doesn't happen. Um, when's the last time you had an email that you didn't archive or anything accidentally? It just doesn't just disappear. And that's because information on the cloud is backed up more frequently than on service systems and in a different way. So. On a server-based program, you have your backup in the practice physically, wherever you store it. But on the cloud, you have server farms owned by very secure cloud hosting companies, and there are multiple of them. So let's say you have a server in Ohio, another one in Montana, another one in Wisconsin. If one of those servers goes down with your information, your data is still backed up across the other ones. So it's still out there and able to be accessed and virtually impossible to just disappear to thin air. And regarding um, questions here, is the cloud safe? Um, we, I understand that it's a different mentality of not being able to see a physical server or where your information is, but the information is actually a lot safer than being in office because what Ken mentioned about having your data hosted through a cloud server where that's their entire business. They store information, whether it's banking information, whether um, the servers that we use are used by the same, um, they're used by Apple, they're used by Harvard Medical School, they're used by Siemens, the um, engineering firm. So yes, the information is safe. Um, let's see. Uh, very intuitive, very easy to use. What is the training process like? Um, even if it's easy, we it's still a change. That is true. <laughs> even though it is um, easy. So we like to joke that anything is easy to use if you know it really well. Um, even old antiquated systems that may be complicated to pick up and learn. Once you know how to use it, if you've been using it for five years, it is easy to you because you know it. But what's different about Asper Dental is that we're also easy to learn and we've stress test this. So some of the community outreach things that we do involve partnering with community dental events where we host the electronic health record for the event. And there, um, I'm not sure if any of you watching have attended any of these events, but um, there's not a lot of prep time. You may have your doctors and assistants arrive a few minutes 
five, 10, 15 minutes prior to their first patient. And we're able to train them in that time to do their notes, take their x-rays and do everything that's needed to see the patients for the day. So yes, training is included and it's a several session process, um, very customized to your practice and the learning needs of your team, whether it's more one-on-ones or more group-based, um, but the training is part of Asper Dental onboarding. That there are a few other questions coming in, but we have reached the end of our webinar allotted time for today. If we didn't get to your question, we have contact information that we're happy to reach back out if anyone would like to continue the conversation further. For those who are watching the webinar on our recording, you're more than welcome to shoot us an email, um, give Ken a call, <laughs> and we'll be happy to share more about Asper Dental and see how we can help bring your practice onto the cloud and make everything a lot faster and easier for your team as well. Well, thank you, Tiffany. And I wanna thank everybody again for watching, especially those of you that might uh, be in later time zones. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, we're here. We love to talk everything dental, everything technology. So give us a call, reach out, and we look forward to uh, opportunity to work with you. Have a Take good care. evening.